In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute correlation coefficients using SPSS. I'm going to see if there's a relationship between total competency before employees start the job and their age when they start the job. Now before I do this, I need to check that both these variables are approximately normally distributed. So I've created histograms. Uh, this is for total competency and you can see it's roughly a bell-shaped curve. It's not perfect, but it would still be fair to use mean and standard deviation to sum up that distribution. And the same thing for age and years. It's not perfect, but it would be fair to use mean and standard deviation, so I'm going to consider it approximately normal. I also need to look for a linear relationship between competency and age, and I do that with a scatter plot. And you can see that the dots are tending upward in a straight line. There are a few outliers, but overall it's tending upwards. So I can go ahead and use Pearson's R correlation coefficient. So from my data file, if I go to Analyze, Correlate, I'm going to choose Bivariate. I'm going to go ahead and hit Reset. And the two variables I want to correlate, I'm going to use a Pearson R correlation coefficient. And you can see there are two other correlation coefficients to choose from. I'm going to choose age and then total competency before they start the job. Now if these two variables had been not approximately normal or maybe not linear, then I would have used Spearman instead of Pearson. You can also indicate whether your test is two-tailed or one-tailed. If your hypothesis says that they'll be correlated but you're not sure if it's a negative or positive, then you want two-tailed, but if you're specifically saying that the relationship will be positive or it will be negative, then you want to choose one-tailed. You also have the option to flag significant correlations, so SPSS will put one asterisk next to results that are significant at 0.05 and two asterisks next to results significant at 0.01. Go ahead and click OK, and we can see here in our results that two of our results box are exactly the same, and that's completely normal. Um, it shows the correlation coefficient of 0.228 and a significance of 0.060. And we're going to look at how to interpret this table in the next video.